this next best uh, practice that we're going to talk about is something called dimensioning. So dimensioning of products, you know, capturing the length, width, and height of the products, you know, boxes, you know, uh, of the products uh, in which they are being shipped and, um, uh, you know, uh, or just product if you are going to uh, track them or if you're going to move them as products as such. Um, so, um, you know, capturing all these dimensions, length, width, height, weight, volume, and also, you know, other attributes of some, you know, some of the item master attributes, like, you know, hey, does this num product require a serial number? I mean, if it's a big computer or a smartphone or a uh, big TV, um, um, you know, those those expensive electronic goods you know, require serial number tracking. Or is it a conveyable? Is it a non-conveyable? Or is it a sortable, non-sortable, right? All this, all this will be done as part of dimensioning because, you know, that is the first time the product hits the, uh, dog door product hits the DC and nobody knows nobody has seen the product. I mean the vendor, you know, uh, he he's he probably sent an ASN and at the uh, you know even even at the time of ASN when the product showed up, you know there was no uh, even you know there are setups where you can do if there is no um, item in the item master you could even automatically create an item master record for that item so the ASN comes through and and uh, you know people at the receiving dock are the ones that see this product for the first time. Hey, oh, what is that? So. It's look completely new. All right. And and you can set up your system to automatically trigger that, uh, you know, sending this um, product to the dimensioning station or typically the um, machine that's used is called QBScan. And this is a machine where you can do it very fast, high speed. You can take that and then keep it on the QBScan, take the box and keep it on the QBScan. It will very fast, you know, very quickly. It will measure the length, width and height and then also the weight and the volume um, and um, you know, along with that, you can also add all these, uh, mark all these flags, you know, it's a conveyable, non-conveyable, sortable, non-sortable, serial number tracking uh, mm -hmm. needed, uh, and anything else that's relevant for your operation, right? Um, all that can be done. So, um, and, and this dimensioning helps in a lot of ways. For example, on the inbound side, it helps with, um, uh, you know, directed put away. And directed put away is a process where you can automate your, uh, you know, uh, you, you don't want the user you know, looking for space, oh, let me find the next hole where I can stick this in, right? Stick this pallet in or stick this case in. You don't want that. You want the system to, um, you don't want the user thinking, right? The user should be executing, 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 right? The system should be thinking for him and then showing him, hey, this is the place you have to take it and put this pallet, put this case. Um, so so that is, you know, part of, and, and that is all done through dimensioning, being, you know, the a location has a specific dimension, length, width, height, volume, weight, uh, restriction and then based on that that based on this item length width and height and you know at the case level at the pallet level whatever that is then the system can check if this can fit in there and then recommend that location to the user so that is from an inbound point and even in the active location level you could uh, define take advantage of the dimension come up with mins and maxes for the location uh, based on you know uh, this dimension as well as based on your order um, you know volume history sales history um, and then also on the outbound side, it's very helpful for cartonization because you want to, you know, if an order was placed and you, you know, picked up the items for that order, you want to put the smallest box where all these items will fit because you want to keep the transportation cost as low as possible, right? So that means, you know, that you have to have the system pick the right box, which is not too big, um, you know, and, and uh, you know, that increases the transportation cost. Obviously, the parcel guys, you know, FedEx, UPS, they are going to charge a lot more if the box is big. And, and if you can optimize and keep it in such a small um, uh, box, you know, that is, that is, you know, you're saving a lot of money in transportation cost, right? So that's where the dimensioning is helpful as well. And then even at the time of manifesting, weighing, you know, you can, you can uh, automate to some extent, have some kind of a threshold and things like that. So that's all, you know, very, very helpful if you do the dimensioning accurately and make sure that, you know, all these other additional flags are captured very well. So that's something to think about. If you're not doing dimensioning today, you know, that's something to think about. Hey, would that would that be useful for me if I do dimensioning accurately, put a QB scan in place and then measure all this and do all this, right? So that's a best practice to think about. And uh, hopefully this is useful. Uh, please, you know, we'd love to uh, hear your thoughts. Please share your comments below. And, uh, and um, you know, uh, of course, watch. There are so many other best practices that we have posted in our YouTube channel and watch them and let's know how we can help. Thank you.